Hello, greetings, welcome everybody. This is Etho. How are you guys doing today? I am, uh, you can probably tell, can't you? You hear it in my voice? My morning voice? Well, you should. <laughs> I'm recording this at 6 a.m., which is morning, but, uh, crazy time. I actually woke up at 1 a.m. today, so I'm still on my crazy sleeping schedule. Still trying to correct it. I talked about that uh, last episode, if you if you didn't see it. Um, got lots of entertaining comments on the last episode. Lots of good suggestions on what to do and, and that kind of thing, too. And uh, basically, I'm just about at the point where I'm going to bed at 10 p.m. again. And this time, I'm going to set my alarm. I think that's the big mistake I made and force myself to wake up at a certain time and hopefully get set on a morning wake up time <laughs> if all goes well um, anyway I uh, I've been working on the nexus here in my early early hours of the day or night um, got a lot built we just about have the whole facade part done and then we just need to put the chests in back here and the water streams and then we're good to go but uh, Probably next episode or the one after that, we will be able to to move on with this. Um, so, what should we do instead? Let's go... I probably should have planned that. <laughs> you know, I've, I've had some requests that we work on the village. So maybe we'll just take a look at that today. Maybe do a bit there. Oh, where are we? Yes, we're good. Yeah, okay, to the village. What happens if I hit an iron golem in a village, exactly? Like, I know he gets mad. What do the villagers do? Does he forget about me or not? Oh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we're in the village. And... Uh, I've made my first enemy. So slow. No wonder the zombies always kill them. Whoa, okay, I take it back. You're cool. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, you, you stay over there for a second. I'm going to put that there. So I was looking around here, guys, trying to decide what we need to do. I do like the houses quite a bit. Like, I like how, uh, how they turned out for the most part. But the in-between, it, it needs more polish, right? It's pretty rough looking in here. Um, so first thing, I'm just going to try put down some pathing. So definitely want path like here. Just going to do gravel first and just see what it looks like. And then I might put in another type of block. Uh, I do like this ladder thing, even though it tends to kill the villagers. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's fun watching them go down the ladder. And it seems to work pretty good. So we'll, we'll make the path come up by the here. And also we got stairs here, so the path should go here. I have to be careful with any changes I make here. If I take out torches, for example, I gotta make sure I replace those or we're gonna have some zombie issues. Alright. Look at them dance. So we'll have path there. Should we have a path running down to these houses as well? Maybe. We'll probably take out this wall at some point and expand the village some more. Because I kind of wanted to make this bigger as well. Alright. Okay, so here is the path, guys. I decided to try out coarse dirt and I mixed in some spruce wood. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, now, you, you're looking at it, you probably don't like it. <laughs> because... As it is right now, this village, there's a lot of like plain, empty s spots that look pretty clean. And the path looks really rough, right? But as as I polish this, it's, it seems weird saying polish because I'm actually making it look uh, more messy. <laughs> but as I add more mess to the village, I think this path will suit it better uh, than it looks right now. But if not, I'll change it. Um, okay, so second thing we're going to do... Uh, we got all these flower boxes by the houses, like these here. 
uh, I think it's time we update these. So we have coarse dirts nowadays. We don't have to use regular dirts because it keeps getting grass grown on it. So we'll change that out. I'm also not a huge fan of the yellow and red flowers anymore. <laughs> Never really, really liked them either, like in the past, but it's all we had. But now we have all these nice new flowers. And probably my favorite are the pink and white tulips and the oxide daisies. Um, in areas like this, though, where we have the desert grass, I find the orange flowers look really good. And maybe red ones. Um, so we'll probably do that. But then these areas, like over here, I'm going to put the pink and white ones. I decided it probably makes more sense to match the flowers to the building, so we kind of got reddish flowers by the red building, blue flowers by the blue one, and green stems by the green building. Sure. <laughs> um, okay, next thing we're going to do, they use the orange building, actually. like they, they, They're able to find their way up this tiny little walkway. Um, we're going to change the layout a little bit here. Let's move this back one block I think yeah let's have like a two wide walkway here and then we'll let's use dark oak dark oak over here uh, originally I had like carrots and stuff growing here but they always trample those <laughs> so no point really keeping them there we should set up a proper farm somewhere else uh oh okay I, I hid some water, apparently. <laughs> oh, and there goes all the torches. I'll have to fix that. But uh, here, let's maybe position this like that. Cool, so check this out guys, we got a much nicer way of getting to the orange building now. Nice walkway here. And if we want to expand the village, this is a perfect spot. I think we'll take out this wall. And there's even some cave back here, so we'll expand out that way. So that gives us over this way. That, that wall there we could ex expand out and maybe... I think we'll move Mr. Villager Chief here. We're not going to get rid of him, but we'll move him. I want to put him in the ceiling, and he'll look down on the village. <laughs> I think uh, I think that's a better spot, because he's kind of in the way here, actually. Because we can't really go out any further. He's, he takes up the whole wall. Alright, well, this is what it looks like now. <laughs> he's a little bit creepy up there, but I, I think it's pretty good. What I should probably do, though, is maybe raise him up. Oh, very creepy indeed. Maybe raise them two or three more blocks higher. I don't like how you can see his eyebrow and his nose like from here. It's just kind of strange. So we'll raise them a little bit higher and then I'll, I think it will make a dome ceiling and really highlight them and make this a pretty big intersection type of thing. Uh, would be cool. But uh, not today. Uh, what we'll do next... We got all these baby villagers running around. Well, we did. I think they grew up. Oh, there's one. <laughs> um, I want to make like a school for them. Basically, a special house just for them that only they can enter. And I think I want them to get trapped in it so I know what the new villagers are when they grow up. Because they, they mix up with the other ones and then I have a hard time finding the new guys. So let's hop into... Uh, creative world and we'll just experiment with that idea yeah okay so I just want to try s test something with their AI I'm not sure if this will work or not we're gonna make a fake villager house here that hopefully they go into <laughs> and I think that's probably big enough right so let's try this out first I'm gonna set up a villager villager and we'll make it nighttime times at 1500. Is he going to go inside? Yeah, he went inside. Good. 
All right, and time now zero. Come on out. I'm going to make a couple baby villagers next. There we go. And we'll block the front with one block. And I want to see if they'll go through that door still. All right, time to go inside. Oh, come on, guys. Get inside the building. It looks like it's not going to work. Come on. <laughs> if I remove the block, are they all going to run in then? Where are they going? They're trying to go somewhere. Oh, they, they see the house, I think. But they can't figure out how to get inside. If I remove it... Nope. I think maybe the building's just too small, because even without the block there, they're not going inside. They keep running to the back. Okay, I'll make it bigger. Okay, let's try it again. Time set, night time. Everybody inside. <laughs> okay, the little guy got in. Yeah, it does work. Okay, cool. The big guy can't get in as much as he tries. Well, it's still a work in progress, guys, but our village now has a school. <laughs> Somewhere for the little guys to be bored during the day. That's right. Um, so this is the front of it. Not totally happy with this front. I'll probably change it. But I, I do like the little door. Uh, currently there's only one way in and out. And I have to use ender pearls. <laughs> but inside we have a classroom. Uh, with the black board or the, or the green board or whatever board. The board that makes you bored at school. Um... Got a couple bookshelves in here, and I think all along the top I'm going to put wood. Okay, so the plan with the school here, like the little guys will run in here, and then there's a chance they're going to grow up, and then they'll be stuck in here. <laughs> um, so we have to think of something to do with them, right? How do we get them out? Um, so we'll probably have w one water elevator. If if they did did well in school and they learn how to do good trades they'll probably go on to a good life back in the village if they were bad at school and they learned bad trades uh, there'll be another water elevator that'll probably take them up to the surface and they'll have to fend for themselves out in the hostile world I think <laughs> uh, unfortunately there's no little guys in the village for us to try this and we are missing one other thing yet uh, we need to get some sunlight uh, t to in front the door here. So I think if I dig straight up, we should be fine. Hopefully there's nothing up above here. And there we go. That should do the trick, I'm pretty sure. Looks like it's midday. <laughs> that, that was the sun. Um, just to make sure, though, I'm going to remove the stopper, or the blocker. I'll just put it there for now. So these guys can get in there if it's a valid house. Um, I just want to make sure. All right, but I'll I'll finish polishing this up another day. Oh yeah, he came in right away. Very good. Um, I'm running low on time actually. <laughs> Pro one of the problems with being a, a morning person, like normally if I if I need more time, I just stay up later. But I actually have to upload this very soon. <laughs> it's like 11:30 now. AM at the latest I have to upload this at 1 p.m. so oh yeah and I gotta render it oh man okay <laughs> it might be a shorter episode I have not figured out this new schedule too well all right so let's move on to something else and uh, try to get something else going here I want to have a rail cart system that hopefully these guys will use so they'll hop in a mine cart it'll take them to like the other end of the village and then they'll hop out automatically uh, would be ideal. That way I think they'll be more likely to use other houses too. You know, this is like the first time I've seen a villager in this one. Uh oh. Oh, please don't be in the village. He's behind the wall. We're good. He's like back there somewhere. Um, the village seems to have grown a lot. Like they're using the yellow and pink house. Normally they stay up 
at that end of the the village. All right. So anyway, I think could either put a track spot here or maybe on this side of the yellow house. And the other end, let's put it maybe over here. This is mostly just for show, like something fun to to watch, right? Uh, to see them go in a minecart and move around. Okay, so here is what I got done so far with this track idea. Um, this is the popular end of the village, right? So if we're only doing a one-way thing, we'll want them to start here and end on that end of the village. And then return like an empty cart. But we might try set it up so it works both ways. But uh, anyway, no volunteers, everybody went inside. <laughs> Darn it, must be night time. Okay, so basically I, I guess I'll go on it. This is a, the layout. We go over top the red building, then kind of over top the orange one, then the yellow one, and we end up here. There's an activator rail that makes us get off automatically, and then it bounces back the empty carts. And it should make it all the way there. Right? Yeah. And since this is a, this is a stair, it, uh, it stops at it, right? And I'm using slabs to prevent the villagers from walking that way, but they won't suffocate them. Or I could use glass or something like that. Uh, now we need to find a way to incentiv incentivize... Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> Get them to go into the minecart. So we may try to like make a door here, like a fake house. Don't know if I left enough space to do that, though. Because the track is... Where is the track? Track goes up over there. Can I do it here? Track is there. Uh, if we had a door right here... Oh, but you know what? They don't try to cross tracks. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, villagers are like zombies. Like, they won't cross tracks, I don't think. Hmm. That could be a problem. <laughs> How do I get them in the minecart if they won't... Hmm. Unless I set up a piston thing to push them. I didn't think this through very well, did I? Okay, let's just experiment to make sure... But I kind of doubt they're going to try enter the house. So time set 1500. Rawr, I'm a zombie. I'm going to eat you. Oh, he didn't even... Oh, well. Whoa. Kind of worked. That was weird. <laughs> it's like they f flew over the door. Yeah, look at that. They're like flying up here and then going down on it. Uh, here, let's maybe block this totally. All right, let's try that again. That was a little strange. Okay, test number two. Rawr, I'm a zombie. Nope. <laughs> so they see this as a, an actual block. Like, they don't... Oh! Hmm. So why did he go? I think it was just a coincidence. I think he was in this block here, and he, he brushed against the minecart, maybe? I don't think he actually tried to go through the door, though. Yeah. They seem to hover around the door, so if they happen to end up by the minecart, they'll go in it. So that might be a little bit difficult to get set up today, totally. Uh, I'll try finish some of that stuff off camera and uh, show you it next time. Uh-oh, zombie. Zombie! There must be a dark spot in here. Right? Light 9. That's fine over here. 9, 9, everything's 9. 8. Oh, 8. That might be it. I always have mobs spawning in here for some reason. Usually zombies. Yeah, there's a few 8 spots, so there are probably 7 at the floor. Okay. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um... But yeah, maybe something we can do to end this episode, just really quickly here. I, I would finish that, but <laughs> if you want a video today, not gonna happen. Um, 
So maybe we will just go check around the place. We have these farms running all the time, right? And quite often I forget to uh, empty them of the resources. So one of those is the slime farm. I haven't checked this for months. <laughs> uh, basically, we got a 3x3 three three thing of hoppers here. I don't know which way they're pointing, actually. Hmm, maybe we'll take out this one. It's been too long. Oh, that is, that's where the chest is. Oh, okay, and there's still a little bit of space, but it's good we looked at it. So I'll have to empty that. Um, uh oh, drowning. We're drowning. There's one more over here, too. Uh, which, which side was that? Was that here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, and very comparable, actually. Okay. So we'll have to empty those. There's one other farm. Oh yeah, the spider farm. Maybe we'll go check out the cactus farm too. Um, I'm wondering if there's mobs stuck in there. Because <laughs> they'll pick up the cactus and... Oh, I'm trapped. They'll pick up the cactus and get stuck in the water streams there, I think. There we go. Finally got out. Oh, let me just put that back. I'll empty that off camera. Um, spider farms. Yes, let's go take a look real quick. No, that's the snow farm. This is a spider farm here. Make sure these are still running too. The cart's in the right place. That's a good sign. Uh, oh, there's still lots of space there. Okay. And what about this one? I'm guessing this one gets activated more often than this one over here. Because it's, it's closer to where I walk usually. But we will just see. Yeah, this one has less in quite a bit. It's in the right spot too, so that's looking good. Uh, let's go take a look at the cactus farm now. Alright, on the way here, I prepared the comment of the day. This guy asks important questions of life. Etho, I was wondering what your favorite pastry is. Thanks for all your awesome videos. Oh man. <laughs> I haven't tried a lot of different types of pastry. I'm not sure. If, I don't think donuts count, do they? Oh, look at this. This is what I was worried about. I just saw a skeleton. You hear all the zombies, though? <laughs> so, oh, man. He's right there. Yeah, there's a few guys trapped down here. Time to clean house. They're slowing down my mob farm is the problem. Oh, yeah. Look at them all. Um, if donuts count, I would probably pick donuts. If not, I do like... Oh, there's that skeleton. I really like Danish. Like the... With the fruit center and... Like icing on. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know if croissants count, but those are also very good. What is a pastry exactly? I don't think croissants count, do they? No, that's, that's pa pastry bread, right? Yeah, croissants are very good too. I like croissants. Heat them up in a microwave or, or something, and oh, they're so ooey gooey, delicious, <laughs> cheese flavored. Mm. Uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry for sort of rushing it a little bit, but uh, still trying to work out my weird times. Anyway, uh, hope you have a great day. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.